Hello and welcome to this Technic Force tutorial. In this video, we're going to discuss composing email in Cloud Funnels. In another tutorial, we already covered how to compose an email for sequences, which sends out a sequenced email during an opt in subscriber's sign up or any number of days afterwards. But at some point, you're going to want to send out a mass email to all of your subscribers. That's where Compose Mail comes in. But before we jump into composing the actual email, there's a couple of settings we want to take care of first. The first setting is under the settings page. So click settings. And under the general settings tab, check that use spinner for emails is already checked. If it's not, make sure you put a check mark in the box. This just adds to the functionality of your email composer. The next thing we'll want to do is set up some SMTPs. So in the sidebar, click SMTPs. Unlike the sequence email, which sends out one email at a time to your subscribers, Compose Mail is going to blast out hundreds or maybe even thousands of emails to everyone in your list. So you don't want to overwhelm your SMTP provider, as most of them have a limit, especially the free ones. So it's good to configure as many SMTP records as you have available. This will spread your email blast out over several different providers. Once you're properly set up, now we can go to Compose Mail here in the sidebar. In the Compose Mail, we can give this composition a title. This is just for our own reference. We'll call this Demo 1. Now we'll see a list of all the SMTPs that we set up in the previous step. Depending on how many emails we're going to be sending out, we can check as many SMTPs as we need and the load will be spread out over all of them. In the case of this demo, I'm going to do a very short send. So I'm going to deselect most of these and I'll just keep one checked for now. The next step is to select the lists that you'll be sending your email out to. If you need to review your lists, they're all located here in the sidebar under lists. If we know we're sending out our email to all, we can just select all. If we're sending out a specifically targeted email to certain lists, we can select the list that we're sending to. And now we'll scroll down a little bit further and you'll see there's a field that we can enter custom emails in. This is where we can enter any email addressees that are not already included on any of the above lists. This box here, manage mail sending rate, is a fairly important step. So let's click this to open and we'll see that the emails are going to be sent out in group sizes of 20 emails per batch delayed with 30 seconds between them. Now the reason this is so important is because SMTP providers will usually have some sort of a group size limit to prevent abuse of their systems. So if you set your group size to 2000 emails and reduce the delay time to one second each, most likely not very many of your emails are going to get sent. So it's good to keep your group size set low and set your delay time for something reasonable. Now that we've done all that setup, we can actually get to the actual email composition. So here's where we'll enter our email subject. So we can put whatever we want here in the subject line. But before we go any further, I'm going to show you a really cool function of CloudFunnels email. And this is the email spinner that we set up in the settings section down below. To use this, first set up a pair of curly brackets. Next, inside the curly brackets, you can enter your spinner variations. So in this case, let's say, hi there, pipe, hello there, pipe, hey there. Now you may not be familiar with this character here that we just inserted called a pipe. This is a vertical bar, which on a standard keyboard is the shift backslash button directly beside your enter key. So the email spinner is going to read these curly brackets and see the pipe separators in there and recognize that hi there is a variant separated by a pipe from the next variant, which is hello there which is separated by a pipe from the next variant, which is hey there. And then the final curly bracket ends the spinner field. 
So we'll add an exclamation mark for proper punctuation. And now when this email sends, the receivers will receive a variant of either hi there, hello there, or hey there, welcome to Cloud Funnels. Okay, now we can move to the message body. The Cloud Funnels email content has a full featured email editor. With this, we can create new documents. We can cut, copy, paste, select all, undo, redo. We can view the source code and visual aids. We can insert images or links. We can format with any variety of formats. And we also have access to the source code. There's also a handy toolbar for the most used options. So here's an example message that we might write. And you'll notice some unusual formatting. And again, this is part of the power of Cloud Funnels. So here in the address line, we say, nice to meet you, curly brackets, name. Now Cloud Funnels is going to recognize these curly brackets as another piece of short code, very similar to the spinner that we just used. But instead of using variants, because there's no pipes within these curly brackets, it's going to call on the recipient's data field for name. So when the subscriber receives this email, they will see their name printed here. The next line we have is this is your email we have on file, curly brackets email. And again, this is the same piece of short code, but this time it will be calling on the receiver's data field for email. So the receiver will see their email printed here. And then the last line we have here is another piece of short code with the curly brackets, but this time we see the pipes inside. So we know that this is going to be making use of the spinner. So Cloud Funnels will randomly send out this email with variants of either thank you, thanks, or thanks a lot for using Cloud Funnels. And you can get a bit more advanced with this as well. If we put a set of curly brackets here within them, we could add another set of curly brackets with the short code of name separated by a pipe, separating another set of curly brackets with email. In this phrase, the way Cloud Funnels will read this is within the main set of curly brackets, it will recognize a pipe. So it knows that this is a spinner phrase. And this particular spinner phrase will either render the user's name or the user's email. You can also let your subscribers have a bit of fun with the randomizer by inputting sentences like this. Your random favorite color is curly brackets, red, pipe, yellow, pipe, blue. When Cloud Funnels sends this message, it will notify the subscriber that the random favorite color is red or yellow or blue. In this next line, we say your random dice roll is curly brackets, one pipe, two pipe, three pipe, four pipe, five pipe, six curly bracket. This will render as one of those six numbers. Your imagination is really the limit and you can combine these and use them anywhere you want. And then you can spend all the time you want formatting your text to make it look nice as well. Now we can enter the unsubscription message. And Cloud Funnels has a special short code for that as well. If we do curly bracket unsubscribe, curly bracket slash unsubscribe, the word contained within them will be highlighted as a URL that is clickable and the subscriber can click on this link to be taken automatically to the Cloud Funnels unsubscribe page. And you can configure your unsubscribe page here in the settings. Okay, so now that our message is all set up, we can go ahead and send this mail. Because we're only doing a short batch, it sent them all at once. We had a group size set of 20, and I only have one email in this tutorial list, plus one custom email. If we had a thousand emails that we were sending, and we had group sizes of 20, we could select all these SMTPs, and the first one would send 20, and then the second one would send 20, the third one would send 20, and so on, and it would keep on rotating throughout all of our various SMTP records until finally the entire batch was sent. Now here's the email we just sent, and let's compare it to our composition in the Cloud Funnels Composer. In the subject line, we had a spinner, hi there, hello there, hey there. The email chose, hey there. Welcome to Cloud Funnels. In the message body, we had a short code for name. 
CloudFunnels read the name from the database, which was CloudFunnels Student. In the next line, we had another shortcode for email, which was rendered in the message as the email of the subscriber. In the composer, we had another spinner set up. Thank you, thanks, thanks a lot, separated by pipes. In the email message, CloudFunnels chose one of those, thanks a lot. Then we had another spinner set up, and this was a bit more complicated, because the spinner contained two shortcode variants, either shortcode name or shortcode email. In this case, CloudFunnels rendered the email in the message. Then in our fun line here, the favorite color, we had a spinner set up for either randomly red, yellow, or blue. CloudFunnels rendered blue randomly. And then the random dice roll, it was either one, two, three, four, five, or six. And our random dice roll was two. And lastly, let's take a look at our unsubscribe notice. Click here to unsubscribe. If we click on this link, this takes us to the CloudFunnels unsubscribe page. And as mentioned, we can customize this within our CloudFunnels settings. So it's really up to your imagination how you want to configure these various shortcodes and variants. If you'd like to go back and see emails that you have previously composed, here in the sidebar, you can click on Mailing History. And here you can search by date or other filters. And you can see this is the reason why we wanted to title our email for internal purposes is here's demo one. This is the one that we just typed and we can see that it sent out two mails. And we remember that was to our tutorial list plus one test message. And we can see the total number of opens, the total number of unopens, the total number of link visits and the total number of unsubscriptions. We can also see when the campaign was sent and we have options to either edit the sequence or delete it from our reports table. And that covers how to compose email in CloudFunnels. Thanks very much for watching.